drop it in. <laughs> Whoa! My goodness! Welcome back, guys. We are going to play a new horror game called Amygdala. I have no idea what I'm getting myself in for. So sit back, relax, and hopefully we're going to get scared. Fear has many eyes and will see things that are not there. Miguel de Cervantes. Use the wazard keys to move. You can also run with shift. Move the camera on by moving the mouse. The sensitivity seems okay. This is freaky already. What on earth? Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, nightmare seeker. Welcome to the amygdala. I am the absolute judge, and it is my job to watch over the amygdala. You are here because... The great monolith requires your intervention. Some rulers of Nightmare have lost control of their Nightmare realm, and it is up to you to take their eyes so they can return to the great monolith. You will have to recover the eye of the ruler of the Nightmare from the following Nightmares. The Nightmare of the Big Head, the Nightmare of Insatiable Knowledge, and the Nightmare of Beauty. Before you go, take this Eye of Light. It is a gift from the great monolith. It will help you dispel the darkness within the nightmares. Now go, Nightmare Seeker. Well, this is uh, pretty batshit crazy already. Key items crucial for progressing in the game or for, narr or for the narrative will sparkle from a distance. Interact with objects. The straight shape of an on-screen crosshead changes when it's placed over an interactive object. Press the left button. These are very quick. Some objects can be examined before being collected. Press the right mouse button to look at them. A nightmare seeker. Not many of those around. I, I know I shouldn't ask. I mean, you have more important matters to attend to. But within the three nightmares, there lie three fragments of vinyl. Touch them, and they will automatically come to me. Once you've gathered them all, you can touch the button on the side. I'll allow you to enter my personal nightmare. Celestial blocks of the Great Monolith. To go further, you must first remove the energy blocks by taking the three eyes from the rulers of nightmare. Only then you can proceed further. further. The Great Monolith can place celestial blocks in the amygdala that prevent progress even if the doors are open. Fulfill your duty before proceeding further. I will take that. Thank you very much. Can I take up the vinyl? I would like to play some music. Okay. What is this? It's about Amygdala Zero. It's said to be the original Amygdala. Some scholars even think all the other Amygdals are nothing but a big nightmare inside the original Amygdala. Right. Cool story. Let's go over this side. What? They're, they're just my friends, man. Just my friends. Nightmare Bugs, note from the Absolute Judge. Inside the Amygdala, it is possible that there are small insects. These insects are unwanted creatures that spawn for some strange reason. They call them Nightmare Bugs. If you encounter one, report it to the Absolute Judge. Your echo will be heard and actions will be taken, although it may take some time. Nightmare insects are apparently harmless, but sometimes deadly creatures for the continuation of the Nightmare Seeker's tasks. These small insects are beyond the control of the Great Monolith. Bum, bum, bum. Under orders of the absolute judge, I am looking for those little insects that devour the mechanisms of the amygdala. Mm. And I think I have eradicated almost all of them. The damned nightmare bugs. Damn nightmare bugs. Your task is to solve the problems of these three nightmares. The nightmares of the big head. Turning your sight toward me. Turn to the left. Turning your sight toward me. Turn to the left. Take the ladder and climb up. 
You will find a door at the top. The door will lead you lead inside the nightmare. The nightmare of insatiable knowledge. With your back towards me, proceed straight. The door will lead you inside the nightmare. The nightmare of beauty. Turning your sight towards me, turn the right, take the ladder up and... Okay, remember that once you enter the nightmare, you will not be able to leave until you have obtained the eye of the nightmare ruler. Absolute judge. The absolute judge is the one who maintains order within the amygdala. He has no real power over nightmares and must act through third parties. Well, it's not too powerful then, is it? So we got doors on all through all sides, basically, and yeah, we have to go through those. Hello, I. I have light, can cast light and shadow. Fantastic. So up the ladder, we go. The nightmares maze, shadows lengthen. Voices of darkness whisper ancient secrets. Amongst the amidst the amygdala's folds, lost hopes blend. Beauty reflections of terror craft a labyrinth. At the center, at the heart of this tempest, oh, amygdala just, statues just jump rise. on him, sure. Mystical sentinels guard shattered dreams. Blimey. Hidden truths wait. Ooh, they're they all reading it. Light. Okay, okay. Silent what about this one? Oracles are two pillars of the amygdala. They write the new nightmares and rewrite the old ones while writing the current ones. The alpha oracle thinks that darkness is the true expression of nightmare. Damn, I'm starting to feel, uh... I'm starting to feel like I have issues when I stand there for too long. Well, that's ideal. Song. I tried to move the bookcase, but it fell on me. Damn. What a fool I am. Damn. But it was a really beautiful song. Is this the ladder we're hoping for? Ding dong. Wee, nice little trip there. Or jump, rather. Didn't really trip. Block of the Great Monolith. To proceed further, you need to take the Eye of Light, which is located. I have taken it. I have taken the Eye of Light. This is weird. Oh, hi. Behind every closed door, there's an amygdala waiting. Nine, six, six. Locked. 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 Nope, nothing. Oh. Hi, dead man. Number two. I didn't read that. Whoopsie daisy. Use the key. I should have read that as well. Whoops. Ah. Started a new work after Joshua evolved. I had to discard the old one. It's not over yet. But my neck is already starting to lengthen. I feel my spine growing inside me. Soon I will be part of the nightmare. Nasty. Can I get my light out? That's to lean. Aha! So the eye looks at me, so it's the back of the eye that casts the light. How odd. Bro, you are not in a good way, are you? Oh my goodness. Another book. I locked that idiot in room number four. Those damned crosses keep us away from the ruler of the nightmare. I hid the key to number three behind the picture near the candles. Behind the picture near the candles. Well, there's a picture. <laughs> a key engraved with the number four. In the nightmare of the big head, the cult of evolution is followed by many... Oh, hello. Let me in, please. Big head is here. Devour us. Big head. <gasps> Whoa! I can feel it. 
You know what? It wasn't it wasn't really the visuals, it was the breath. <laughs> Everyone looks forward to evolving. But I've seen them. Once their spine breaks through their neck, they twitch for a moment and then stop moving. That's why I'm making these crosses. They will help us maintain consciousness even after the evolution. Or at least I hope so. Well, Is there a way I can access my inventory? Yes, of course it's tab. Duh. Go across. Can I go across? Use switch. Uh, the brain. The devel development of brains within nightmares is a more unique uh, is a more unique than rare event. Can a brain dream of having a brain? Who is it that dreams of the two? Use it to recover health. Sick. Key number 411. A key that opens an unusual large sliding French door. Ah, uh, we know which one that's for. The guy that's trying to... Oh, he's gone now. Sliding door has been unlocked. 96. Oh, hi there. What's this? Safe room. Touching the statue can save your game. Nice. And a big brain. Small brain. Okay. Okay. Right. We're going to get attacked by this guy. Big head, is that you? Oh, okay. Great. You do have a big head. Hmm. Lovely pictures you have here. Can I get under? See? No. No. Can I? Um. New. No. Uh, resume, please. Oh, photo mode. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. So we... Aha! Control is crouch. Okay. What happened? Ooh. A number... You can't tell if it's a six or a nine. Does it really matter? It has some hooks on the back. Seems to have been removed, but it's possible to reinsert it without too many problems. Also, the screws seem to have a rotation mechanism. The number 333 would be perfection. This number multiplied by 3 would give 999. That is absolute perfection. God. But if it is rotated, the number turns into 666. That is the opposite of God. The number of the devil. But this, but this is a nightmare. Does God and the devil really exist? Well, I mean... Yeah, that's the age-old question that many people have um, died over. Oops. Sliding door. Now the number nine can be rotated the secret wall has opened where Ooh. yeah I don't want to go down there just yet let's see if we can open these if there's anything of value in here we can open that up surely yeah boy wow we have a key that opens on a usual large sliding French door Okie dokie. Another one for a French door. Anything else? It seems not. No, doesn't fit that one. Okie dokie. Not at the moment then, my friend. That's the key. It's gonna 
devour the whole nightmare. Where are you, Lord of Nightmares? Why have you abandoned us? Oh my gosh. Some people are heel deep. Heel deep. After placing wooden rods in the large hole in the wall, I sealed the gate to the main corridor with a chain. This should keep the giant head at bay at least for a while. I hope this echo of mine reaches the amygdala. Somehow, this is no longer our nightmare. Hmm. Oh. Hi. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Is it? Hi, dude. Damn. Oh, big brain. Or small brain. Hi, man. Uh, you are having an issue. Hello. No. Okay. Let's go back out into the wilderness. Bit is <laughs> Whoa! My goodness! <laughs> Whoop! Hmm. <clears throat> Hi, Snails. to the altar so I can have an audience with the ruler of Nightlands. So I can stand by his side. Well, that looks a bit more um, disgusting than down here, so let's go down here. I can't go down there. I have to go down here. Um. Can I pick up the snail and throw it at this guy so it doesn't eat me? Oh, God. The big head, the big head that does not see Nightmare Anomaly. gonna come after me and I'm gonna have to run into these yep it's coming is it Sliding door. Existence just seems to it, you know, perish. Whenever you walk into a black door. It cannot see, but it can certainly hear. Oh, save point. Door number three. Ooh. Something in the nightmare has changed. Save again. We got door number three. of existence again.
Ooh, what's this? Key. French sliding door. End of existence. Could it be this one? It is. Great. And what about this one? Nope. <laughs> oh, goodness me, just came out of nowhere. What on earth? Can I just get a butcher's knife and chop him up? Okay. French sliding door. That must be the one back in the corridor. Carry object. Some items cannot be placed in the inventory but can be transported around the map. You left mouse button to pick up the item, press again to release it. Once you have it, you can also throw it by pressing the right mouse button. Ooh. Ooh, that's strange. Blessing from the divine ruler of nightmares. Said that once there were four, one evolved anomalously. Observed and studied them for a while. Fascinating how they float inside the nightmare. Ah, they're so beautiful. What? Yo, it looks like Nemesis from Resi. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with this. It opens out. What's the point? That's so weird. It's like screaming, well, shouting in pain every time I get it. That's so weird, man. What? Don't mind me. I'm sorry. Let me just carry your head around. This has changed. This is... Ooh. Place the three heads on the three altars and unlock the underground... Ooh. Okay. My intuition was right. Uh, wait, wait, where? Where do I place it? <laughs> There's one. Hello, big heads. Horrible sounds. All these snails. I hope they don't eat the head. Seven. So we got room number three. Which? Oh. -hoo. Hidden door. Hello, another head? Is there anything else in here, though? Like a key? Nope. Something. Something's gonna happen, surely. Nope, nothing happens. One more head. Where did we see another head, guys? Have we seen another head? That one? I mean, he's he's busy. He's busy following me. Mm. Can this change again? Ooh, hello. He closed the gate and hid. I know the passage is one of these sliding walls. He has the key. But to open the passage, I first placed a number six. Yeah, I've done that. Done it. Way ahead of you. 
Aha, there's that one. Right. Knock, knock. Maybe it's around the other side. Yes, it is. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. My name's uh, Adam, and I will be taking you home today. Let's get a good look at you. Okay. Open this up. Open sesame. Now what? It said it would open up, but it hasn't. Um I have to stand right on top of it. Oh, okay. We're going deep. We're going deep. Well, I mean oh, come on. Here he is. Oh blind ruler of the nightmare connected to his dreamers. Now consumed by them. Bored of his own nightmare kingdom. Letting everything fall to ruin. That's why all those anomalies. Here are the inhabitants of the nightmare now lost in the desperate search for contact. The big head. The rituals and everything. Created by the anomalies. Even the dream snails are already starting to eat this nightmare. There's nothing left to do here. Touch the eye, and it will be taken to the amygdala. Don't worry, I will take care of recovering the other inhabitants of this nightmare and bringing them to the amygdala. Great work, Nightmare Seeker. Okay. End of the nightmare, big head. Strange key can open the doors of nightmares in some cases, in some case, anomalies block them. Uh, some insects are present with the amygdala and nightmares are called ancient bugs, some small and some large. They must be eradicated in some way, but this is the task of the absolute judge. Sometimes even the nightmares seekers get trapped in the amygdala. The absolute judge observes, observes, and thanks to the echoes that signal these problems, he tries to solve as much as possible, but he doesn't always succeed. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I will be going now back home. Next. This is creepy. In the nightmare's maze, it's not very scary, but it is gruesome, and it is pretty cool. Oh, really? Oh. Amongst amygdala's folds, serenity. So let's, uh... Let's go into this one. See if there's anything around, nothing. I can't see anything shining. Let's go. Hmm. One key. Knowledge key too. This strange key can open the doors of nightmares. Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. More books. More pages to devour, more words to absorb in my insatiable hunger for knowledge. It will never be enough. It will never suffice. I will continue to hunt, to search, to swallow every single page until I have conquered all that the world has to offer. Mm. My thirst cannot be quenched. My hunger cannot be satisfied. I want more books. Okay. Ah, I managed to reach the base of the great library. The passage to the room of nightmare is blocked by these insatiable creatures of knowledge. I have no more strength. May my wisdom shine in the darkness, so that others may illuminate the path of knowledge and reach the ruler of nightmare. Okay. Can I have your book now? Oh. 
Okay, so what? I need to put them down. Whoa. I like that one. Donnie Darko. Ah, yeah, that's what happens in Donnie, isn't it? There's two. Pretentious mouths, nightmare of insatiable knowledge. The mouths of knowledge are very pretentious. They don't want random fruits of knowledge. They want very specific fruits of knowledge, and they are not afraid to let you know. The fruits of knowledge books have numbers written on their pages. Each number coincides with different knowledge. Knowledge has many facets. Many like to inform themselves only about what they like most. Okay, I get it. I get what we have to do. Save point. Nice. Can I touch it? Let me touch the statue. Mary, please. Okay. Bye. Some objects presented in the nightmares cannot be brought into the safe rooms. Once upon a time, some nightmare seekers tried to bring objects from nightmares into safe rooms so that they could be could then subsequently bring them into the amygdala. This fueled the birth of nightmare insects and created problems for the correct continuation of activities within the amygdala. For this reason, the absolute judge decided to prevent objects from being brought into safe rooms. Okay, I understand. That little fucker tried to get me. Oh my goodness. So do I have to lure him away? Some creatures inside nightmares are stupid. They stand still wait for something to happen. Many times these creatures can block the path of nightmare seekers. It's probably the amygdala insects' fault. It seems that using the idol's power to save and reload game resets the creature's intelligence, temporarily solving the problem. Even though these creatures are hungry for knowledge, they are so stupid. Are they so stupid that they sometimes sit still and wait? It must be the fault of the insects inside the amygdala. Ah, so... Maybe I need to feed the books first. Because you, my friend, are pretty dumb. Let's just feed the books first. Oh, hi. Another one. I need to hide. I need to hide. My fruit has bloomed too soon. Why? It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Now everyone can access my knowledge. I have to hide or they'll take it from me. The knowledge, no, no, the knowledge seeds decide when to sprout, but when they do, they leave the nightmares in their current form. Normally, the fruits of knowledge should never bloom prematurely. Okay, let's go. Boink. Number one first. You want... No. There you go. No. I need the tastiest fruit, tastiest fruits, the blossom fruits of knowledge, not the ordinary ones. The, my little mouths are hungry. Feed them, and I'll let you meet the ruler of nightmare. They're called knowledge seeds. The things in the entities in the nightmare try to get close to the ruler of nightmare and plant themselves to grow knowledge. They say they taste great. Okay, so what I had in mind wasn't the th wasn't the case. I suppose they're the mouths at the top of here. So let's just get both of them. I thought I was being clever and, you know, giving myself a shortcut, but no. Boink. Boink. Let's do the first one. Come on. Come on. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. What? Hungry like the wolf. Uh, did they eat it then? Let's try again. Yep. Yep. Is he gone? All right.
Uh, well, there's only there's only one, uh, two books at the moment that I found. Do I need to find another? There is more up there, but I don't think I can. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's another. The fruits that grow and bloom have a faint light surrounding them. This makes it difficult to hide and easy to be found. These fruits can be grabbed by pressing the right mouse button and can be thrown by less pressing the left. It's very difficult for these creatures to hide. Not only do they give off an irresistible scent, but above all, when the flower of knowledge blooms, the darkness does not protect them as the light illuminates the mind. It does not protect them as the light that illuminates the minds breaks the darkness. Bloody hell, that was harder than I thought it would be to read. Uh, let's let's go find another book. Should be around here somewhere. Let's save first as well, because we've done a few things. Come on. Not scary. I thought both of those books would take away both heads, but maybe I'm wrong. Rusty key mid floor. I think that guy's stuck. I like the sound design. The sound design is really cool. Hooray. Yo, small brain coming. Oh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Oh. It's looking for me. I can feel it. I thought I had dodged all those awful creatures hungry for knowledge. But I was wrong. I want to eat up my knowledge. I'm too scared to go down. Let my knowledge grow. I hope it's enough for the ruler of nightmare. Ah, oh, crap. No. Why do I need to long jump anyway? From like down there? I mean. Oh. So that's behind the big head. Rusty key for high floor. That's behind the big head. So do I take the book to him and then it'll like unlock? the section but then how do we get down from here though whoop okay that kind of did it but where did the where did that book go there it is uh, so we got, that's the fourth one, but we didn't get the third, so I'm, I don't know where the third is. Let's see. Must be missing it. Must be right in front of my eyes. Nope. Ew. Ew. throw it do I throw it in his face do I go down yes sick 
Oh, hi. Hello. I need to lock up the floor. I know there's still someone who needs to come down, but I have to somehow block these those insatiable creatures. Nightmares have small ecosystems within them. The big one eats the small one. This is to maintain the stability of the nightmare. But when the small one starts to fight back against the big one, the tables start to turn, leading to an anomaly within the nightmare. Ooh. Anomaly. Let's go. Clever. Feed on it all you want. It will corrupt your knowledge. It's pretty clever. My hunger for knowledge doesn't stop. I have no control. I'm sorry for these creatures that hide every time they see me. I'm truly sorry. But it's not my fault. I can't stop. I need to devour as much knowledge as possible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oof. Damn, son. That's tough. Ugh. No, that's not for you then. Five. Hmm. Let us, let us go back down. May I feed it to this one? Yes. But I'm not sure why. It's just to get rid of all of them, isn't it? That's the idea. It's to get rid of all the heads. Um, four. Okay, so. Oh, <coughs> bullet. Okay, so. Uh. But it seems like this directs me better towards where I want to go, I think. Um, so, there's a ladder going up there. Okay, cool. And then we want to go... I don't know. We need to find... I don't know what we need to find, actually. Okay. Let's try the stairs again and see if we've missed something down here. moment it doesn't seem like it but haha <laughs> you cheeky fucker yeah The ladder is available. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. Let's go. Oh, that's pretty freaky. 
So we need to hide, do we? Behind some bookcases. Do you think love can bloom even on a nightmare? We are different. Knowledge doesn't interest us. We complement each other. We've decided to sprout here together, intertwining with roots, our roots. We don't need any ruler of nightmares. The ruler of nightmares begins to lose control of their own nightmare when the creatures within them start to take unexpected actions. Hmm. It's like Frankenstein. Shiny! Vinyl piece. The piece of vinyl seems to be divided into three parts. Perhaps the ancient gramophone can do something. <gasps> Ugh. Oh. Oh. Bye-bye. Did it fall the whole way down? No. Where was I supposed to feed it? Don't tell me I was supposed to feed it quite, like... Oh, eh. oh man, that's... That's rough. Don't fall down. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can do it. Thought I could get down from here without going through those rooms full of those hungry creatures. The wooden beam broke under my feet, and I fell. My leg's broken. Okay, um, so I'm here again. Let's save. I, I really don't know. Shall we go all the way down and then have to come all the way back up? I don't know. I'm not sure where the final uh, mouth is, but I'll be incredibly disappointed if I have to take this the whole way up, which is not possible, is it? So, oops. Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh. Oh, it's got an eye in it, so I reckon. I reckon this is the one. Yes. Well done, Nightmare Seeker. The nightmare of insatiable knowledge and its ruler of nightmares. Motionless, trapped in a state of eternal contemplation, immersed in thoughts so deep and complex that it cannot even move motionless. Because of this, the nightmare has fallen into ruin, literally not lifting a finger to fix things and take back control of its own nightmare. And to think that this ruler of nightmares was an oracle within the amygdala, the Eta oracle. But it felt out of place, felt useless, so the great monolith made a big exception and gave control of the nightmare to the Eta oracle. But now, all of this is futile. The snails, the emissaries of the great monolith, are already devouring the nightmare. Touch the eye, and you will return to the amygdala with it. 
I'll try to gather the creatures here and take them back to the amygdala. But I don't think Ita will come with us. Devouring the nightmare. I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay. One room left. There's the head. There's the big boy head. Can he can I speak to him? No. He has been gathered. He has been collected. And there's the big boy head. Okay, this way. So there's some, is there some doors behind here? Hmm. Let's keep on the track, Adam. Don't get too distracted, not just yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna open this one though, why not? Personal room. Visit the personal room for the first time in the amygdala. -la 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 -la. That's cool. Yet to do that one. Hello, personal room. I mean it's not very it's not very personal, is it? Oh, 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 okay. Image selected for the virtual photo event organized by the absolute judge inside the amygdala. These paintings capture some of the views of the amygdala. Nightmare Seeker, War Chief. Bum bum bum. Image selected for the... Ooh, Zeus. Angela McCann. Cool, so do real people... Are they from real people? The, um, the photos? That's pretty cool. Beauty is everything. Especially you, baby. Bring it on. Bring it on. The hunters wander around in search of faceless bodies to shape. The continuous search for beauty set by the standard imposed by the ruler of the nightmare. It is said that the hunters of the nightmare of beauty have heads shaped like televisions. Their screen a mirror to the nightmare, where distorted images dance like restless shadows. Okay. Yo, what's up? Ooh. Yeah. They got TVs for heads, that's for sure. Oh, hi. And managed to escape from the cages. It was difficult to evade beauty, but... But the hunters are looking for me. I don't want to be like them. Leave me alone. Please. Right, well... Ah. That's pretty cool. 
Are they going to start moving at some point? Oh, they are, aren't they? Oh, no way. Uh, don't like this. These distorted televisions are not common objects. They too are life forms within this nightmare. Some nightmare televisions are directly connected to the ruler of nightmare and allow him to interact with and modify the nightmare itself. A clever way for the ruler of nightmare to control his nightmare, but something must have gone wrong. Damn, son. I don't know if I want to turn this off. Ooh. This art style is pretty cool, to be fair. I do like it a lot. Hmm. It reminds me of, like, a tame version of Scorn. Not with the televisions, but with the the body horror. I've already been through here, I think. No, I haven't. out of it uh i'm kind of lost i don't really know what to do turn off turn off all the tvs that one's gone off That's weird. Locked. Oh. Through here. That's 
that way. Can I get through here now? No. Okay. Some other TD. Ooh. Is he on? Yes, he's on. Can I turn him off? Let me turn you off. No, he doesn't want to go off. Uh, is there one of these TVs that are on? Because there's a lot of static coming from one of them. But there isn't, is there? Hmm. Too sure. You can come back in here and see. Oh, yeah, there's one that side. Uh, I am a little lost. Is this the first save point? I think it might be. Aha. Uh -huh. that little bit. Hi, man. Oh, my days. Uh, you're going to come after me, aren't you? 100%. If you don't... I'll be very disappointed. Uh, what's my health like? Is one of the most beautiful creations of the ruler of the nightmare. The great monolith noticed her and secretly, without the ruler of the nightmare knowing, gave the beauty three eyes. This led to a terrible imbalance not only within the nightmare, but within Amygdala itself. Beauty was an entity comparable to three rulers of the nightmare trapped inside a nightmare. The great monolith is in fact the one who controls the Amygdala. He should never act on his own behalf, but on behalf of the balance. Or maybe not. Maybe he should do as he pleases. Maybe. Hello, beauty. No. Hi. So we're looking for... Is it three eyes? Am I... Being, am I noticing that right? Or maybe not. What does it open? You'll have to find out for yourself. Well... It's a bit cryptic. Bruv looks like he's had a wicked night. I hope you get home safe. This is dirty. Yo. Um.
Okay, I no longer have the strength to speak. I hope someone reads this echo. The beauty created me. She combined three hearts of her most ephemeral creations and connected them to me. I don't know how she managed to do it, to do such a thing, but he is using my body to imprison the ruler of nightmare. Whoever reads this message, the three hearts are an anomaly and they are very fragile. Just touch them to make them disappear. Uh, just touch them to make them disappear with it, anomaly. Once this is done, the ruler of Nightmare will also be free. A Nightmare Lord imprisoned in his own Nightmare is something more unique than rare. But that can happen when the Great Monolith shifts the balance of things. Blimey. Uh, I don't know what to do. In here, let's save. Shanty. Yeah, well, alright, bruv. Be careful what you look at. To worry too much. It's not that threatening, is it? It's still quite tense, but it's not exactly outlast. Something in the ch uh, nightmare has changed. Clicking buttons. Ooh. I'm just seeing shiny things and clicking them. That's all I'm doing. Under Beauty's orders, we have imprisoned several creatures in the cells. This lever opens the cells before the large room of the lab laboratory. When a creature subverts a nightmare and it thinks it can escape or take control of the same nightmare, but all it is doing is creating its own golden prison. There is no way out of a nightmare. Only the seekers of nightmares, only the seeker seekers of nightmare, guided by the monolith, have this incredible gift. We have that gift, brothers and sisters. We are gifted. The cells at the start of the lab are now opened. Thanks. is open to I have 
have a heart. One heart. Damn, you ugly, son. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Yeah, I thought so. Two hearts. It's really not that scary. It's not that frightening, mate. Uh, chemicals. So I've got, I've got two hearts. Piss off. Brain, brain, brain. Where do I put your hearts? Or is it just because I need to collect three? Um, and then it will just open when I have collected three. Yeah, 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 that's just about the enemies being stupid, which they are. I do wonder where the other heart, though, is. Where the other heart is. Or isn't. I mean, ugh. It doesn't seem like it's anywhere here, does it? No. Scary. Piss off. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what we were looking for. To the middle room that'll be open yeah and then we're done here he is the ruler of nightmare or at least what remains of it trapped in a crumbling prison by the creature he created his body is now completely devoured by the monolith's emissaries not much remains of him even his dreamers are now bones what a crumbling show there isn't much left to do great job nightmare seeker now take the eye and go back to the amygdala I was also contacted by the Great Monolith, who removed Beauty's three eyes. I will bring the creatures of this place to the Amygdala. Now let's go. It's time to return to the Amygdala. Okay. Is it supposed to be the sprite? No. Ah, oh, they're happily talking. They're friends again. Okay, so I think the heart of the nightmare. I think that's all three, isn't it?
Let's go see what's in this door because now it's open. Or is that the private room? I don't think so. Ah, that's the room you, you ah you come out of those when you finish the task. I see. Hello, book. I haven't, I haven't read you. In the amygdala, the only way of communication is through the nooms, nooms of the monolith. It is very convenient and universal system that allows communication even through various nightmares. You will often find notepads with a monolith symbol telling you basically what to do. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Is that Latin? I think it might be Latin, eh? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. In front of the great monolith. This place is funky. Here is the seeker of nightmare. I am the monolith affiliated with the amygdala number 1994, white row 731. You have done you have an done excellent an job restoring, restoring order restoring within order the three nightmares. three nightmares. As a sign of, my, sign gratitude, of my gratitude, you can choose you can one of the choose two, gifts, of the I two gifts I offer you. The first, you the will first take you the, will place take the place of the absolute, absolute judge. judge. Your task, Your task will be to take care of the amygdala, amygdala and provide and assistance and support to the, to the rulers of the nightmare. nightmare. And if, and necessary, if necessary, welcome, welcome future, future nightmare, nightmare seekers. seekers or, or one of the most desired, of the most desired things, things I'll, give I'll give you an eye. You will have the chance, will have to, become the chance to become a ruler of the nightmare yourself. You will have your own, you will kingdom. Have your own kingdom. You will be able to you dream, be able to your, dream nightmare. your nightmare. Becoming a becoming god, a god of, your of your own realm. realm. The, choice the choice is yours. yours. When, you are when you are ready, ready just touch one of the monolithic spheres. Red, Red you, you will become, become ruler of nightmare. nightmare. Blue, you, you will become the absolute, absolute judge of the amygdala, amygdala 1994. 1994. 731, goodbye. Herald, Herald of the, of the new, new nightmare. nightmare. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, ruler of the new nightmare sounds pretty epic, but also the judge? Of the amygdala that's a pretty powerful position to be in so can i can i choose to destroy them can i choose to do neither and blow it up let's go with the judge and we'll just see what happens why not checking that everything is in order making the right decisions so that the amygdala remains vivid and the nightmares of its rulers flourish the absolute judge without eyes he observes without a mouth he speaks without hands he acts the servants of the amygdala assist you by listening to your words the chanting of a prayer you are the absolute judge of the amygdala this is your amygdala Okay. Uh, that was pretty cool. I mean, the the visuals were pretty cool. A few jump scares. The the voice acting, it's okay. It could have been better, but hey, good job. It's um, it's an it's an indie game. It's not made by many people, so that was a good a good shot at making a horror game. Um, very go to this place, collect this, take it back. Thank you for playing this totally independent title. The game was developed in about four months. The goal was to accompany the player in a distorted world and show creatures from my imagination. Thanks to everyone who supported the title. There we go. I mean, he did what he wanted to do and show the creatures from his imagination. We did, you know, walk through a distorted world. That was very cool. Yeah, for what it was, great. Good job. Nice. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, I might go for it again and get the other ending, but I'm not too sure. Uh, let me know what you think about the title. And go and give Stigma Studios um, some love. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked the content, please uh, subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. It certainly helps. And I'll see you in the next one. More horror, I reckon.
Bye-bye.